Hold on. Getting a puppy is adorable, but it's also a real challenge. The last thing I want you to do is get a puppy and end up regretting it. So here are five things you must know before you get a puppy. Puppy depression is very common. And I'm not talking about the puppy being depressed. I'm talking about you. No, not me, you. You have all these expectations that you and your puppy are gonna be cuddling on the couch, and next thing you know, the puppy just wants to be alone in the kitchen. This is very normal. Don't have those feelings of buyer's remorse. Give it time, allow the puppy to acclimate. Training takes patience. Feeding a young puppy is really tricky. You have to feed them up to four times a day, especially ones as big as Bear. Go get it. A lot of people think they can just free feed their puppies, leave a bowl of food and the puppy will figure it out. No, your puppy will become obese and then guess what? Every time your puppy eats, it needs to poop. So your house is gonna be covered in poop. And have you ever seen a Newfie's poop? That is one big pile of Walking a puppy is no easy feat, but is extremely important. Doesn't matter if it's raining, if it's snowing, you still have to walk your puppy. And most people get their puppies around 10 weeks of age, which means that a walk is necessary every three to four hours. So if you're working an eight hour workday, maybe a puppy isn't for you. When walking your new puppy, you may come off rude to other dog owners, because you can't just let your puppy play on leash with other pups. It's gonna turn into trouble, leashes are gonna get tangled, someone's gonna get bitten, not a great idea. Plus it's no good if you want a well-behaved pup. Come on, pup. Good boy. Dogs get dirty. I mean, Bear, when he sees mud, he not only walks in it, he lies down in it, he rolls around in it, he drools in it some. But thankfully, he likes taking baths, so it's not such a painful process. But some dogs hate baths, so it's really gonna be personality dependent. You really shouldn't use human products on your dog. No to human shampoo and no to human hair dryers. <laughs> Special dog dryer. It's not too hot and it essentially blows the water off the dog. And it's not just bathing him. You've got to brush him. You've got to clip his toenails. This is a true time commitment. Crate training is by far the most effective way to housebreak your dog and to make sure they don't destroy your home. What the f did you do? Go inside. Go. Dogs are den creatures. They love enclosed spaces. Bear goes in here after playing with Roxy and it's his place to rest. He sleeps here, he hangs out here, and he's not gonna pee in here because it's such an enclosed space. Proving how much he loves his crate, even when I open the door, he doesn't feel the need to run out because this is his home. He loves it in there. I did thorough research before I got Bear, and I was warned about drool in big breeds. But holy moly how much drool there is. There's drool in my food. I take drool with me to work on my clothes. It's on my mirrors. The drool struggle is real. The cost struggle is real too. Outside of paying for basic pet supplies, you also have to plan for vet visits, vaccinations, and if your pet gets sick, the bills really rack up. In fact, Bear's sick right now and needs antibiotics. This is expensive on any budget. Look, I don't want it to seem like I'm against you getting a puppy. I love puppies. I've made other videos with these guys before, and they're truly part of my family but I want you to be prepared for the challenges that lay ahead. So if you know someone that's about to get a puppy or thinking about getting a puppy, definitely share this video with them. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. As always, stay happy and healthy. Keep going, keep going, keep going, come on, more. Roxy could have stayed one spot. The cost struggle is real too. <laughs> is real. I'm against some... <laughs> I don't know what that was. Oh. Use a dog... Fact. What is this thing called?